Good morning children. Today we shall learn about quadrilateral. We already know a triangle is a three-sided closed figure. Now you might think which figure we get using four line segments. This is a square which is a four-sided closed figure. And as you know this is a rectangle. This is also a four-sided closed figure. Other than these, this is also a four-sided closed figure. This figure and this figure. And what do we see? Each of this closed figure is made of four line segments. Such four-sided closed figures which are made of line segments are called quadrilaterals. Now you might say why is it called a quadrilateral? This is because quad means four and lateral means off sides. So as we saw this closed figure is made of four sides hence the name quadrilateral. So this is a quadrilateral and it has four vertices vertex A, vertex B, vertex C and vertex T. Since the vertices are named as A, B, C, D this quadrilateral is called quadrilateral A, B, C, D. What about line segments? The quadrilateral ABCD is made of four line segments which are line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment CD and the line segment DA. What about the angles? This quadrilateral ABCD has four angles if we see. Angle A, Angle B, Angle C and Angle T. Can we call these angles by other names? Yes, we can. Let us see. Angle A is same as Angle D, A, B or also we can say Angle B, A, D. So this is angle A or angle DAB or angle BAD. Same way this is angle B and it is same as angle ABC or angle CBA. Confused? But it is easy to remember. See, when we talk of angle B, it includes the end point B or the vertex B. So, when we are writing it, this vertex or the end point should always come in center or in the middle. So, if we see angle ABC here. B is written in the center or in the middle. Same way when we refer it as angle CBA here also B comes in the middle or in the center. On the same lines what we will call angle C this is angle C and we will just keep it in the center so it will be called B, C, D or D, C, B. Understood? Now coming to the last angle which is angle D. So angle D is same as angle C, D, A or the other way angle 
A T C. So now you know the same angle can be referred in different ways. Here we see a figure which has four sides. One, two, three, four. Now is this a quadrilateral? Let us see. First, yes, it is a closed figure. Also we see it is made of four line segments. One, two, three, four. And it has four vertices and four angles. Let's call this vertex A, vertex B, vertex C and vertex T. So it has four vertices and four angles. Angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. So what can we say? Yes, this figure, rather this closed figure with four line segments as its sides is a quadrilateral. Now let us see different types of quadrilaterals. The square, the rectangle, this four-sided figure, even this figure. So these are the two sides and you can say this is the fourth angle. All of these are four-sided closed figure made of four line segments. Hence all of these are different types of quadrilaterals which we will study later. Now a question might come is a quadrilateral a type of polygon? Let us see. Yes, this is a closed figure. It is made of four line segments. And also the important thing here is each line segment intersects exactly two other line segments. See, if we consider this line segment, it meets only this line segment and this line segment. Same with the other line segments. So each line segment intersects exactly two other line segments. If we consider this line segment, it intersects this line segment and this line segment. So in this quadrilateral, each line segment intersects exactly two other line segments. And we know all these are properties of a polygon. So we can say every quadrilateral is a polygon. Understood? So that was all about quadrilaterals. The properties of quadrilateral we will see in the next class. Till then, bye bye children.